Hey guys, how's it going? It's been a while. I'm gonna clean you off here. We are doing a project. Um, I have uh, an aerial survey set up where I have two oblique cameras mounted below the plane. I'm gonna be upgrading them to 100 megapixel cameras and I want them enclosed in kind of a shroud around it. So I'm gonna build a carbon fiber shroud to go around these cameras. I'm using Fuji uh, GFX 100S cameras, so they're medium format. Uh, they're really awesome cameras. I've been using them for pretty much eight months now. Um, I switched from the Hasselblad now to Fuji, so these are <laughs> huge step up from the from the Hasselblads. I just had uh, tons of problems with those cameras, so the Fuji's been awesome. Um, so yeah, we're gonna be building this. I'm cutting some foam. Um, I got this from Home Depot. And basically I've cut this template out, so we're gonna, going to glue all these together. And we gotta shape the foam to my shroud. Um, it's kind of like a pill shape, the way it's gonna look. And I'm gonna make it two halves, so I'm gonna cut a seam across here so that I can remove this bottom section and then slide it back up and just have some screws holding it in, in place. So I can get access to the cameras, take the memory cards out. So that's the plan anyways. So I got these cut up, we're gonna glue them together and let that sit for a little bit. Got this Gorilla Glue, that's for foam. And it should be really easily sandable. Um, I think it turns kind of into foam as it sets. So you can sand it down to your shape. So we'll give it a try and see how it works. So we have it gluing up here. I got a big weight on there. There's some batteries in there, so it's pretty heavy. Take you to my office and show you a couple things and then I gotta go flying. All right guys, so this is the mount. This is what um, this kind of shroud is gonna go around. So the cameras mount to these angled plates and this goes up through a floor hole in my aircraft. All right, so this you can see as kind of a drawing. This is a drawing of the shroud, of the camera's mount. And right here, I'm going to put a piece of glass, photo quality piece of glass right there and there. And that's what the cameras are going to see through. Um, I'll make another carbon fiber piece that goes over the glass here and then just bolt it in place so I can replace it if ever it gets scratched um, or too dirty or whatever. And so yeah, that's how it's gonna work. I got the carbon fiber all ready to go. We got four yards of it here, so plenty to play around with and a bunch of epoxy here as well. And yeah, it is cold out today. I gotta fly, but it's minus 27 Celsius, something like that. You guys missed this plane? <laughs> I've flown a lot this year. I think I've put about 400 hours on so far. I'll have to take a look, but that might be close. Yeah, so it's been, been a really good year. I've been doing a lot of work, a lot of mapping, and yeah, getting, getting a lot of jobs done, so it's been good. And no really major issues that I've had this year, which is pretty nice. I haven't done much for modifications other than just adding this um, sun visor in here. It slips down. This is from um, yeah, this is from Aircraft Spruce. So yeah, that's pretty much it. What I've done. I don't know what else I can say other than let's go fly. All right. Hope you guys can hear me. Welcome aboard to Fox Charlie Delta Zulu. Going for a flight to Cooking Lake. Doing some survey work. <clears throat> I use the uh, Tannis preheater system to heat the engine. Clear my traffic. Entry number Charlie. 
Yeah, so I have my tennis per heater plugged into a smart switch. There's, what, there's internet there, so I can turn it on and off anytime I want. And I have it on the schedule. I fly every Friday, so it just turns on automatically, which is awesome. Uh, that guy's taking off downwind. That is weird. Okay, let's do a run-up and take off. First, I'll check my lane A, lane B. I've got the 912 IS engine. We go up to 3200 RPM, check, make sure the engine keeps running after you switch off lane A, and I'll switch off lane B. Brakes to descend. You can like fuck stretch all the way on tunnel to eight full stop. Okay, yeah, we're gonna slow down a little bit. Fuel Go pressure. On. Nine degrees of flaps. That fuel pressure is just not an issue. I don't know. Fuel pressure. It goes right on the line. When it's colder out, it's there's usually higher fuel pressure in my system. Give it a little gas, warm it up a little bit. Here we have power. In case of a go around. Um, once I'm very close to the runway, I will um, fuel pressure. Go to idle. Yep. We're close. Close enough. Fuel we're pressure. Go to idle. Slow down. And. Touchdown, Fuel two pressure. wheels. That's my AOA going off, my angle of attack indicator. Fuel pressure. Oh yeah, wait, that off. Right on, there we go. We are down, guys. Thanks for coming along, and hope to get to Green see you guys again soon. Green Lake Papa is taxiing from the Pinnacle Hangar to run a bay on Mike. Good like Charlie to Zulu, cleared up Bravo, taxiing Charlie, Foxtrot, Kilo. Okay guys, so that's it. Thanks for tuning in. And yeah, we'll uh, catch you guys soon. Stay tuned for more build videos on my carbon fiber dome for the cameras. Alright, talk to you later.